drink with me tonight. Let's go to far off places and search for treasures bright. Come drink with me tonight. Let's build a giant airship and sail into the sky. so far below let's watch the birds as they fly by fly so high come dream with me tonight up this hill, down that one. Hey, Twiz, how come I'm always pulling and you're always sitting? Oh, quiet, LB. Can't you see I'm concentrating? Is your mother as nice as you are, Twink? Why, she's just a mean, wicked, nasty little troll. That's why I love her like I do. Mommy, mommy, how can I repay? The awful things you did to me each and every day. The way you would insult me, yell and make me cry. You made me what I am today, a really rotten guy. I know you can't stand the sight of me and think that I'm a klutz. Still, I studied at your feet for years, yuck, which took a lot of guts. Mommy, mommy, I never will forget How you'd ridiculed me and treat me like a pet The way you would ignore me, yell and make me fetch You made me what I am today A miserable wretch Aha, there's mommy's house now Oh, sweet home You wait outside Why? Afraid you'll be embarrassed when she makes fun of you or something? Me? Embarrassed in front of a lowly bounder? <laughs> I just happen to be her favorite son. Her only son, you mean? Now, where did you leave those diamonds we stole from Gimmick's house? Yeah, they're in the wagon, Twiz. Mommy, just wait till you see these little beauties. <laughs> of course, it wouldn't hurt to keep just one for myself or safekeeping. I keep a sharp eye on the wagon while I'm gone, LB. This neighborhood's full of villains. Yeah, too bad you ain't one of them. <laughs>
still that pale shade of green. Well, that's what happens when you mix a troll with a lowly grunge. And I'll bet there's not a wicked bone in your body, hmm? Tell me, Twiggy, done anything truly rotten lately? Well, um, as a matter of fact... Yes? Out with it. Actually, I brought you these. Hmm. Oh, they're diamonds from the heart to find city. Uh, I stole them, Mummy, just for you. You stole them? Oh, be still, my beating heart. Can it be true? It is. Aren't you proud of me? Now, let's not get carried away. I'd better have a closer look at these hunks of glass. Do you think they might be of some use? I mean, uh, what if we took them to, uh, well, uh, what I mean to say is... Um... I know what's on your mind. You were wondering if you could pay your way into the Monsters and Villains organization with these, right? Well, uh, now that you mention it... Uh... Don't press your luck, Twiggy. But maybe Marvel will be interested in these and you won't turn out like your good-for-nothing father. He was such a nice guy. Yeah, I couldn't stand him either. Now, let me see. Hmm. These aren't diamonds, you bimbo. They're not? No, they're much more valuable than that. Does this mean you'll take me to Marvel? Oh, Mommy, Mommy, say yes! Stop that at once, do you hear me? Oh. Now come along and put that ruby back. Thought you could fool me, huh? Hmm, he just might turn out rotten after all. This is terrible. Who could have taken them? I'll bet Gimmick put the crystal somewhere for safekeeping and forgot where. But we've looked everywhere already, Grubby. I wonder if someone stole them. Hmm. I'll bet Twig and his bounder friend took them. You're probably right, Grubby. The question is, what do we do now? Well, I think we should go to Twig's tower and ask him. I don't think anyone's home. They must have left in a hurry. The door's wide open. Wow. Would you just look at all this stuff? What do you suppose Twig's up to, Gimmick? Hmm, well, uh, it's hard to say. Uh, it looks as though someone has been trying to make something from, uh, buttermilk. Hey, Gimmick, look at this. Attention all monsters and villains. Special membership deal. One week only. Fairly nasty deeds accepted. Contact Mavo, the Monsters and Villains organization. That must be where they've gone. This advertisement says Mavo's north of here, past Misley Meadows and near the Great Wall of Ying. Mm -hmm. Gee, Teddy, sounds kind of far away. Maybe we could take the airship. What do you think, Gimmick? Uh, well, uh, I don't see why not, except that... Uh... <laughs> You're not frightened by all that talk of monsters and villains, are you? Uh, monsters Ooh, and me? villains? Oh, frightened? Oh, uh, no, <laughs> uh, I love oh, monsters and villains. <laughs> I love them. But we must get the crystals back, and the airship is the only way. Yeah, all things considered, Teddy, uh, uh, you may um, be right. Uh, uh, it's settled, then. It is? Yes. Besides, Twig and LB must almost be there by now. We can't afford to waste another minute. Come on, Grubby. Sometimes there's just no arguing with an Iliop. Monsters and villains. Ooh. Can't you two go any faster? That's always been the problem with you, Twiggy. No get up and go. No imagination for evil either. No heart for crime. Just like your father. What an idiot he was. Why I ever married a grudge is beyond me. Look what happened as a result. You. <laughs> now remember. 
when we get to Marvo, be on your worst behavior. Pretend that you deserve to be in the company of such notorious monsters and villains, which I'm sure they won't believe for a moment. Yes, Mummy, whatever you say. No, oh, Marvo, such fond memories it brings me. And Quellor, the supreme oppressor. Now there's a villain for you. I shiver when I think of how evil he is. I can't wait to see him again. And I never will if you two deadbeats don't step on it! Like mother, like son. How touching. <laughs> I know the keeper of the door personally. His name is Ickley von Nostroklum. He and I go back a long, long way. Now, give me those crystals. Oh. will know the difference if I hold on to one of these. Ickly, my darling! It's been years! If it isn't Eleanor Twig, well, well! Now listen, Mr. Ickley Bognostroclum. I've come to see Queller about some very important business, and I can't stand around here all day with you! So let us in! Sorry! No one sees Queller! Paragraph 18, subsection 24! I have something I know he'll want to see! And what, pray tell, might that be? These, Ickly, my sweet, they're crystals which my wicked little boy has stolen from the hard-to-find city. Hmm. Well, that might be different. Stay here! I'll see if the Supreme Oppressor will admit you. Never pass up an opportunity to steal something. Paragraph 48, subsection 27. Enter. And you, your nastiness. Get on with it, Bob Nostroclum. We haven't got all day. Of course. Eleanor Twig is here to see you. She brought this crystal with her, which she claims her son stole from the heart to find city. Did you say crystal? Let me see it. Yes, yes, yes. At the long last. Call an emergency meeting of the Marvel Council to be held in the main war room. Is Eleanor's son a member of Marvo? No, your greatness! Then he shall be. Bognostroclum, summon the members. As you command, sire of villainy! <laughs> Where is the son who stole the crystals from the heart to find city? He's right over there. Oh, Twiggy. Well, thanks to me, Queller, supreme oppressor of Mavo, has agreed to see you. And your son might even be made an apprentice member. Although I think that would be going a bit too far. Queller has summoned the members of the Mavo Council to an emergency meeting in the main war room. Monsters and villains, we have in our possession something that will be of great significance to Marvel. But first, we seek the wisdom of our understander of legends. 
Now, great understander of legends, we request that you interpret for us the hieroglyphics inscribed in these Hollywood halls. As you command, Quailer, they are a simple message and a warning. Mavo will never be free from the threat of goodness until the six holes found in the ceiling of this room are filled with the six ancient crystals. Fellow members, we have one of the crystals here. <laughs> Continue. At all costs, Mavo must prevent the crystals from falling into the hands of Iliops. That's all. Oh! Hey, Twits, that Teddy Ruxpin guy with gimmick all the time. He's an Iliop. Are you sure, LB? Uh, um, I've just been informed by a reliable source that the crystal came from Teddy Ruxpin, an Iliop. What is the meaning of these interruptions, Bob Nostrum? Well, uh, actually, your rottenness, I've just been told that the crystal was in fact in the hands of... Teddy Ruxpin, a lollipop! Iliop, it's Iliop. What? If more of these crystals are in the hands of an Iliop, the very existence of Marvo is threatened. I will not rest until all six of the crystals are brought here. Anyone who stands in the way of Marvo having those crystals shall be made to suffer. More fuel, Teddy! Right, Gimmick? How are we doing, anyway? Well, according to my calculations, we should be making visual contact with the edge of the Misley Meadows uh, uh, any time now. And then what? Uh, 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 why, I suppose uh, we start looking for something that uh, resembles Marvo Headquarters. Understander of legends, install the one crystal in its rightful place in the ceiling. You, son of Eleanor Tweed, if you wish to live to become a Marvel member, you will bring me the remaining crystals. Now, go! Uh, before you go, here, take this! I guess I, uh, misplaced it earlier. <laughs> now get lost! And don't come back until you have the crystals, or you'll be in big trouble! Paragraph 7, subsection 29! We have to find the other crystals! This is your last chance, Twig! Don't spoil it! Now go! Just a minute. Here, take this. It must have got jammed behind the cheap upholstery in that wagon of yours. Now you've only three more to find. And don't come back till you have those crystals. Better yet, don't come back at all. Send that overgrown tomato back with them. So where's the crystal you misplaced, twerp? Why, it's not misplaced, Helby. It's right here. <laughs> Very funny. Oh, help me, LB. Even with your simple mind, we know that we have three crystals and Marvel has one. That leaves two more. And they must be in the hands of that Iliop. Uh, Teddy, what's his name? <laughs> you never could add right, Tweez. We've got four, count mine. What? You've got a crystal? Oh, you thief! 
I was saving it for a surprise. <laughs> now we just have to find that Illy up and his friends. Yeah, it shouldn't be too hard, Twiz. <laughs> Our next adventure is a really wet and wild one when we meet the Surf Grunges. They spend a lot of time on Ben's beach hoping to catch big waves. But Grubby makes a way for them that's a little too big. And we learn something new about Tweeg's childhood. So please join us right here for another exciting story on the adventures of Teddy Ruxpin. <laughs>